It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce to you someone who is a friend of Metro, a supporter of our missions here. He is somebody that you can go to and, and talk about issues and problems, and he's always willing to listen. And we're just very, very proud, very honored that he's here today and proud that he is our commissioner, Mr. Brian Owens. The commissioner and Mr. Lentz and uh, General Donnell and Emily Sayers are going to be over here uh, to uh, unveil the CD because we can't wait anymore to see what it looks like, right? Can you wait a long while? No, we can't wait a long while. Okay. If you and Emily just stand on this side. You sure you don't want a real long speech before we do this? <laughs> All right. All right. Um, whoever is closest by can, can uh, grab a little piece of that purple cloth. And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Voices of Hope Gospel CD. And now we will hear from our commissioner, Commissioner Owens. Good morning. I promise you uh, my words will be brief. Uh, I want to hear some more singing. So hopefully that's on the agenda. Y'all are fabulous. You did a fabulous job, and I look forward to some more singing uh, this afternoon. And by virtue of the fact that you're here today, you're going to get what I say next. What a good day to be in prison. What a good day to be in prison. And I'm gonna thank uh, just three people and then give you a few words and then introduce you to my boss, Mr. Jim Lentz, for some words. But I wanna, I wanna highlight three people. The first one I wanna highlight is uh, Warden, excuse me, Chaplain Bishop. this institution, don't we, ladies? <laughs> Secondly, uh, Miss Emily, uh, for her great help and, and, and her pushing this project along. It takes a special individual with a special heart to want to give back uh, the way you have done, so thank you so much for your participation in this. And a, and a final word of thanks to our former commissioner, General Jim Donald. Uh, he taught me a lot of things over the past five years, but one of the things he taught me is if you don't believe in redemption, you're not qualified to be the commissioner of the Department of Corrections. So, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to uh, give you a few remarks and at the same time uh, give you the biography of uh, the gentleman to my right, Mr. Jim Lentz. And uh, we all have trying times in our lives. Some have more difficult times than others, but during a particularly difficult time in my life, I happened to be driving through the state of Tennessee, and some of you may have heard this story before. Driving through the state of Tennessee by myself and driving along Interstate 75 heading north, and there's a billboard staring me right in the face. It had four words on it, only four words, and I'd ask you to remember these four words at the end of the day if you remember nothing else. And it was an advertisement trying to solicit individuals on the highway to enter into a theological program I didn't catch the name of the school, but the words have stuck with me ever since. And really, at the end of the day, when you think about it, what do you do as a human being? What is the worth of a human life? I think these four words sum it up. They said simply, learn, serve, lead, and believe. 